Okay, here we are at uh, Ken Glanville's down by Walton, Ontario. Uh, here's Ron Strader way over there at the cab of the blue truck. He owns this uh, Chev with the 6V53 uh, motor. And we're going to finally put it on the dyno to see what kind of power this thing has with the Whipple supercharger on it. Guess they're just uh, kind of setting things up. Gonna hang in there and be a little bit patient. So, anyways, the uh, uh, the Whipple supercharger mount and the airbox and uh, accessory drive and all that uh, that I designed and built on there seems to be uh, very uh, reliable. Uh, we haven't had any problems with the drive uh, as soon as we uh, uh, since we put, put a little bit larger pulley on the blower. Just going through all the gears in the uh, in the uh, 10 speed transmission there to get into the highest gear. There we go. A little bit of smoke coming off the big wheel, getting the big wheel going. That's direct drive there now. That's Dustin, Ron's uh, son, behind the wheel. There we go. You can hear the whine of the Whipple supercharger under there. In another video, we'll take a walk around to the engine and you can see the, uh, the nice install. This is a brand new crate motor. Uh, and new old stock crate motor, military crate motor, 6V53 turbo uh, motor. Just kind of going through a little bit more here of uh, setup time. There's Ken Glanville just come walking around the back there. He's the owner of the property. Uh, this is actually the 2013 confab meeting uh, a bunch of guys that uh, install diesel engines and all kinds of different equipment uh, like like uh, um, repowers they call them repower association so we have a meeting usually once a year somewhere in Canada or the states this is in uh, Walton Ontario 2013. Go through the gears again. Spinning it up. So we, uh, I've been receiving a lot of messages on uh, YouTube from YouTube guys, wanting to know uh, whatever happened to this uh, 6 v 53 and how things worked out. So this is for all you guys. We still need to come up with a way to get boost pressures up. Uh, uh, as most of you know, probably uh, the two-stroke uh, the exhaust valves are open when the blower is moving air into the cylinders. So it's very hard to build pressure in these things. It's a pretty cool truck. It's uh, got four-wheel drive functional, um, and it does have the uh, very hard to find uh, Jake brakes for a 6V53. They're on there too, so it's a lot of fun driving around. There he goes.
Is that it? That's it. Okay, I guess that's all there is to it. So I guess we'll tally up the results and uh, we'll uh, write that on the name of the video, I guess. Have a good day.